Asal usul nama Pogda Okay, I'm aware that there's a number of you who are curious as to Where we got the name and who exactly we are at some point And here's the thing, right? Pogda doesn't actually refer to any one of us specifically uh, We use the name as an homage to this particular tech enthusiast in Malaysia He's quite well known uh, We would like to not actually mention who specifically But whoever you are that's uh, in the scene, you probably know who he is But he wants his own privacy, so I'm just not going to mention who But it's an homage to this particular tech enthusiast And that's that But on a more joke answer my own boss actually had his own blog uh, initially before and that failed so he decided to use someone else's name. <laughs> Your favourite moment at Pogda? Uh, there's probably quite a number of them but I'd say when I first joined Pogda, I think we were still just doing this kind of like a hobby on the side so it wasn't really that much but the moment I joined, uh, we started doing more and we started noticing our traffic doubled at that point and people started taking us more seriously because there was more work being put into it so I think seeing the growth, like seeing something that we did for fun turn to something more serious and people actually taking us seriously I think that's by far my favourite moment at least for now how does Pogda sustain as a tech and gaming media? Well, uh, for starters, lots and lots of Maggie, like a lot of Maggie, and also payment in the form of exposure. <laughs> what are admin Pogda favorite games of all time? Now, if you ask like each of us like individually, you probably get different answers, but if you ask me specifically, uh, high up on the list, I'd say Undertale. Uh, I think it still has the best story in any game so far, especially since it breaks the fourth wall, but it does so elegantly. Uh, second, I'd uh, probably say Tekken 7, but that's just because I really like fighting games, and I think Tekken embodies like fighting games like the best, well, at least for me so far. Uh, I can't really think of anything specific apart from that, but I do know that some of our team members would prefer games like uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, so yeah, that's my answer and that's probably their answer. Boleh bagi keychain Pogda free? Oh, jangan risau, ada banyak benda datang free. Uh, just tune into the Pogda live stream every Friday and you'll probably get something. Maybe even a free phone. Pogda ada branch at Penang Island, ada vacancy tak? Ah, kalau Pogda ada branch kat Penang Island tu, rasa dah tak buat tech media tu, tu dah buat makan je tu. <laughs> What is the meaning of Pogda? Well, if you're thinking about the meaning of the word and not exactly where we took the name from, uh, it's actually like a slang for like Pogda, Pogda, the young uncle, I guess is another way to put if you guys aren't really familiar with the Malaysian culture. So that's actually the basis of the name. Let's say I have 500 ringgit, would you suggest me to pick OG Pixel, refurbish, or buy a new entry level smartphone? Now, seriously, I think you'll probably be better off with the entry level smartphone just because at least after sales support will be there because you still have warranty and whatnot. Refurbish, I'm not too sure what will be happening like, you know, before it was refurbished and I'm not too sure how like warranty and whatnot will be like. But the Pixel is, the original Pixel is still a good smartphone. Uh, apart from that, you know, you can always just choose to try to save out as much money as possible and then get an iPhone instead. Any way to force TM technician to dig TM Unify port? Dig TM Unify port tak boleh, but dig grave can. Redmi TV at China has about 2k direct change. In Shopee, Lazada, the price goes up to 3499 to 3699 Bullsh**. Well, here's the problem, right? If you direct convert like international currency to ours, of course it will kind of seem like cheap, but you have to factor it a lot of like, other costs and I do believe that this aren't brought in like officially, there's probably like some resellers so that's also another margin of profit that they need to keep in mind so that's also like expensive. On the other hand, there's always plenty of other options around so you can always consider that. The Q, when are you giving your Note 10 away when we get one? Can boss send me something for free? That's only if I don't intercept it first because if it's free, I'm gonna take it first. Got vacancy ah? Well, the thing is, we always want more people to join in, but at the moment, I don't think we're looking for anyone specifically, but you can always just tune in to Pogda.net and see, because we'll definitely be announcing if we are looking for anyone to join us, so stay tuned for that. When Pogda will have hashtag Terbeli3 or Terbeli4, when boss stops Terbeli5? How did Pogda start and how long does it take for you to reach where you are now? Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I myself joined Porter like two years after it started, so I do, I do believe that it actually started in 2014. Uh, it did take quite a while to reach where we are now because at first it was just like a side project, you know, like a hobby project, and then after that we started like taking it more seriously. So I'd say probably somewhere along the lines of 2017, 2018, yeah, 2017, I think it was 2018, 2017. 
things started speeding up a lot more because we started putting in more of our, you know, effort, more of our sweat, blood and sweat, tears into this. So I can't exactly put like an exact time frame there, but there's still a lot more growth for us. We still have a long way to go. So I can't really say that we're proud of where we are. I mean, we are still proud of where we are right now, but I can't say that we are satisfied where we are now and we are looking forward to growing into something bigger, something that will be beneficial for everyone here, not just in Malaysia, but for the rest of the world. Who wears the skirt or pants in the office? Who will be the first to buy iPhone 11 Pro? Now, iPhone, unfortunately, I don't think that any of us will be able to afford at the moment. But as to who wears the skirt, if y'all will still remember her in memory of Crystal Ho. How many cameras on a phone is too many? One. When you buying stuff for us, every day, every hour, getting paid into power. Yeah. <laughs> Pogda dah kahwin ke belum? Now, Pogda himself, I'm not too sure. But if the big boss, big daddy, super daddy, yes. Uh, with two healthy kids as well. How are you, Pogda? Doing fine, I guess. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, but yeah, that's okay. I've seen better days. Is big daddy single? No. <laughs> but you're free to try. I'm just not gonna stop him. Uh, if anything happens, I will not be held responsible for that. Ciri-ciri wanita pilihan hati pokda. Kurus, berisi, tinggi, rendah, interracial, pan-Asian. Well, um, we like them big, we like them small, we like them all. <laughs> Siapa Big Daddy? Oh, that will be our boss. Big Daddy, Super Daddy, our chief editor. I'm pretty sure you guys might have seen him in some events and maybe like some video or some gamers gathering. Uh, I think probably one of the biggest guys around here, both figuratively and literally. <laughs> I have a question, Mr. Portnet on that. Can you suggest me best phone under 2000 to buy because I don't know to buy which phone nowadays? Now, I have one suggestion, right? So you could get the iPhone 11. It's about what, 3300 around there for the 64 gig one? You take that, you find another person who wants to buy it with you. You split it in half. It will be less than 2,000 for each piece. And then you fight to see which one of you will get the piece with the notch and which one of you gets the piece with the microphone. Go for it. Yeah, this is big brain time. On a more serious answer, you could always just consider Mi 9D Pro, which is easily under 2,000 ringgit. It has flagship level specs. The camera is actually surprisingly nice. And I personally think that anyone will be able to enjoy it actually. And that's all for today's episode of To Die. So in our next episode, here's the question. If you could meet any member from Porter.net, who would you like to meet and why? And by that, I mean like, what would you like to do with them? You want to ajak makan, just want to see them, just want to see how they're like in real life, or any particular reason whatsoever. Now, specifically members of Porter.net, I mean like Super Daddy, or Big Daddy right here. There's Vincent, there's Said, there's Idris, and then of course there's myself. So there's five of us. So pick your poison and let's see how this goes. So that's all for today's episode and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye!